What's going on, everybody? We are here. Oh, you covered the frog. Ooh, that was suddenly like the music went from super loud to when I muted it, it went brrr, and just like all of a sudden everything uh, was a normal fucking uh, volume. What's going well, on, everybody? What's going on, Anthony? Not much. So, um, no, you're a dick. There's no way around that. <laughs> just. Uh, see, look, see, no, you know, there's no way around that. Tonight's episode uh, is its going to be a fun one. Yeah. Um, if I had to endure that, you're a dick. Okay, so we... Okay, so... We kind of made a deal <laughs> that, like, we won't... We don't want to cover, like awful 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 movies like we don't we don't want the podcast to just be a like uh, purposely yeah we we we, we don't want to have a podcast where it's like we're just consistently fucking shitting on on movies it's it's i i know a lot of people are into like oh yeah no fucking shit on it woo and and it's it's not fair people put we don't try to it's not a purposeful thing um yeah so we don't however that that said um are you, do you have to like amp yourself up to even do this yeah Th this is this is gonna be fucking rough this is this is gonna be super and you had a fucking, fucking rough. and you had to watch it you've watched it like four times i've watched it twice begrudgingly i today alone watched this film three fucking times why? Oh my god! I wasn't gonna watch the second time. I really wasn't. I would boycott it. <laughs> and the nerve you had to ask me, so did you show the wife? I was like, I'm not putting... I don't want her to hate me for the rest of my life. I don't know how Jackie didn't kill you. <laughs> oh god. She has cancer, and she's like, I'm not wasting the time See, I have left with cancer on this on watching movie. that film again. No, it's, it's, it's a really bad film. Um, I... Didn't Zero and no A for effort. <laughs> yeah. I I did not remember this movie being as bad as it was. Um, oh, so you didn't remember that it was that bad. That's how un, uneventful it is that you don't even remember it. You, you know what I remembered? I All I fully remembered was that Stacy was hot and Britt was hot. That was it. That's all okay. that I remembered. So watching it, I watched it. That might before, be the highlight of the whole entire movie. I watched it before podcast last week, like a couple of days before. And that's when I realized, oh, fuck. No, this movie is actually really, really bad. Yes. And I was like, it's Wait, already it's on the list. When he starts to text me, he's like, oh, my God, dude, I'm so sorry. You're going to you're going to have a real good time with it. I'm like, I don't want to watch it now. I know I want to fucking hate it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. And our God, she did, in fact, throw the cancer card out. But oh, right, I, I, I also support that decision of her because that's how bad it is. I guess we'll get into it. Hello and welcome all to another episode of the Spooky Spooky Horror Show podcast. I'm your host, Sean. I'm joined by Anthony. And today we are going to be talking about the 2022. Remember this. This movie is from 2022. 2022. Supernatural that's why film. it was put out during COVID. Yeah, that's not an excuse. Don't don't let that be an excuse. <laughs> right? It's a supernatural horror film, the Spirit Board Session, or Sessions, Sessions. Sessions. But before we get into that, and we open up this awful, awful can of worms, Anthony, how has your week been? I have to quit my job. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, uh, I I've been applying for other other shops, and um, most of them were like different different brands. And uh, I had Jeep call me back, so I accepted it with them because I just can't do the main mental anguish that is my shop anymore. And, and I feel so Jeep. bad because my guys keep on asking me, like, did you change your mind? Did you change your mind? And I was like, dude, I can't stay. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So I should be starting next Monday. Well, I paid off the, the rest of the 3000 to fix the okay. porch. Yesterday after chemo, we went and uh, picked up some stuff. How's it I have to put gutters up. It looks great, but the other beams I will have to get replaced because we found rot. It's going to be another 400. Oh, towards so. the driveway? The beams that basically hold up the roof. Okay. Remember, like, the pillars, rather? Yeah. 
the old ones because they're like 50 years old. They have some some oh, rot God. in it. So I mean, the the four by four beams are, I think, like ten dollars. Oh, no, they're not expensive actually. Yeah. You, it's, I it's mean, you could a, do it yourself if, as long as yeah. you're just like you do it properly and brace it. Yeah, it's it's just for for them to come out and jack up sections because we're gonna move them around so it's more symmetrical and we could throw up like railings and stuff like that. It's gonna cost and another four hundred dollars. Yeah, it's gonna cost another four hundred. But I have to get gutters up because I don't have gutters on the front of my house. I need to make sure that all water stays away from that area. Yeah. Uh, last week's podcast. Uh, kicked the shit out of me with editing. Everything seemed to be going well. <laughs> I, I got the majority of it edited uh, and then the fucking update. by Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, my computer was just turned off. Uh. I wasn't even in the office dealing with the, the porch stuff. And then Wednesday, I had stream. Thursday, I sat down to start editing the, the plot <laughs> section of it. And okay, that's when everything kind of shit the fucking bed. <laughs> and it decided because I told you what I like to do instead of just cutting out dead air, I like to make a cut right like, after just, I finish speaking yeah. or any of us finish finish speaking, and then right before we it start, flows. and then you you speed it up two hundred percent so it still looks natural, and you just set it to like ripple delete. So instead of just moving the clip over two hundred percent, it's it's just that section that you're cutting. It's just shrinking that. It decided it didn't want to do that. It decided it said no that. Every time I would do that, it would shift that over. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And it would do it for every I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. You do, but I, yeah. I know what you're talking about because I do it. Yeah, you do it. You see it and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. And then you have to fix it. I would hit control Z to get rid of that and it would be fine. So it, it knows what it's doing, but the program itself was like, nah, fuck it. I don't want to do that. Ah, fuck. So it took <laughs> me all day Thursday. I ended up not streaming Friday. As soon as we got home from the hospital and, and Lowe's and everything, I just went straight to editing and I didn't finish editing till about 1130 at night, rendered it out. And I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to sleep. Woke up this morning, checked to make sure everything was good. I'm watching it. I'm speeding through because my film records so big, it ends up doing two separate clips. I color okay. graded the first clip. I didn't color grade the second clip. So I had to go back into the file and then fix that. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, so it was all I've wanted to do is play games, and I really haven't been able to play fucking anything. So last night I was just uh, laying down playing Baldur's Gate three on my uh, Steam Deck. Baldur's Gate, I gotta get that. You guys said it was pretty Sink. good. I was like, God damn it! But all right, I'm I'm so depressed. Like I, I've 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 been super fucking angry. And how bad I've this movie is. Yes, because I've gone back through and I've been fixing stuff because I'm like, OK, it, the, the, instead of just like full on shitting on it, I'm like, how could they have made this better? So I ended oh, up going yeah, through I mean... and when when I start talking about the things that I'm like, hey, this would actually be better if they had done this. I want honest, like honesty from people watching and you if what I'm describing. I mean, we would already know it would be movie. a better movie. We already know it would be a better movie. But if. If like it, the 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 things I'm bringing up just make more logical sense, because you're gonna watch this and you're you're gonna viewers are gonna listen to us talk about it, and they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this movie? And then I'm gonna explain. Oh, wait, I, I don't even want to call it a movie. Yeah, it's it, it's an hour of just nonsense, but uh, we'll get into the. Production I'm glad facts. it's only 53 minutes. I know. Uh, the Spirit Board Sessions was written, directed, produced, cast, and starring Billy Henrickle. The info I found Ugh. on there's really not a whole lot of information. The the, the stuff that I, I could did understand find, that one place and I can't find it anymore. It had the budget at over twenty five thousand dollars. Really? Wait, on IMDb, it has an estimated budget of forty six hundred dollars. That sounds more like what we saw. <laughs> wait, wait. Then you go to Henry Henrickle's Indiegogo page for the project, and it has okay. two separate amounts listed. It has $5,843, and it also has $5,447 by 31 backers as of March 7th, 2021. So I have no clue what this budget actually is. What the actual budget is? That doesn't, that doesn't bode well on top it's, of it's, what we know. It's all fucking over the place. Like, I just... 
I don't know. But the Spirit Board Sessions was filmed in, Slid I think it's pronounced Slidell, Louisiana. And it stars, as I said before, uh, Billy Henrichel as the director, Ronald Pete as Ronnie the cameraman, Mark Mayu as Mark the or Marcus. I think I think he I think he's credited as Marcus, right? Billy May. You gotta confirm on that. Just want to make sure. I don't even fucking see his name in here anymore. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. No. Okay, Marcus. Mar I, 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 I'm pretty sure it's Marcus. Erica. I'm, I believe this is Erica Monet Butters as Brit and Kimberly Bartholomew S as Kim the mansion owner. The film went into pre-production on January 20th, 2021, and filming finished, and it went into post-production on October 15th, 2021. So they did it says, like under a year. Oh, let me God. just finish. A year later, on October 24th, 2022, the film was released. Anthony, what are your spoiler-free thoughts of the Spirit Board Sessions? I wish it was never made. <laughs> Like I wish I, <laughs> I'm right there. Fucking I wish with it was you, never made. <laughs> I'm right there with you. Um, spoiler free. I mean, on the thumbnail of this, you kind of get an impression of it was a really bad off take, or maybe yeah. like a scary movie type thing. Like it, it was a spoof. Um, they failed that one too. I don't even know how. Uh, it is not a horror film. It is not a jump scare film. It is its own genre of of dog shit crap on top of bird shit. It's just not there. I guess that's my most unspoiler uh, review I could give for that. I am right there with you. Um, this probably should have should not have been made. I refuse no. to believe that they had a script. No, like, yeah. Honestly, I could see that too. Going just kind of going with it. Um, I mean, it looked like a half ass porno through the whole entire thing. Yeah, I, you know, I pretty much cut out the majority of the opening 11 minutes because it's it's fucking useless there's no fucking reason for any of this these are like they look like the, the dumbest stories. of society that they're just like throwing yes. in front of the camera and i know some of them are like people like um the dude well, that has all, all the people. horror movies well no i mean like the dude with all the horror <laughs> movies behind him He's, I think he's like oh. an actor in like, I think, I think he's done trauma stuff and I don't Bro, really know. Bro, I have never seen that guy. That guy was no, annoying me to shit. Him either. The only person I saw in that entire thing that I recognized was Felissa Rose. And like, I don't even know who that is. Felissa Rose is the girl from Sleepaway Camp. She was the, Good um, God. The, the, the teacher in, uh, the, uh, the courtyard in Terrifier 2. That was yelling at them to get back to class and leave the the, the really? dead possum alone. Yeah, that's oh, her. Oh shit! She's, she's she's a horror oh. icon. Oh, and okay. she was fucking awful in this because it no one like, had any redeeming qualities. Uh, it's it's like they were just like, hey, just like uh, make bullshit up and we'll just record it. That's what this entire fucking it, film sounds like. Honestly, but they it, feel, it feels like the bunch of what happened. Yeah, that it it legitimately feels like at some at like certain points, people just wanted to like the office like look right at the camera. And it's like, <laughs> I, I don't fucking get it. Uh, That's what I mean. It, it seemed like it was comical more than anything else. Uh, and our God said he watched it too. Uh, I believe there was a script. a script. It was, it was just written, written in a foreign, foreign language, language and, and then Google, Google translated to English. <laughs> Yo, I've been watching a lot of foreign films lately and I watch shit like that that have better fucking scripting in the American version, which you know that's not what they're really saying. They did some stupid shit to like make it make sense to us. Yeah. Those look better than this. Yeah, no. Those uh, look better than this. A, a, big, a big issue that I had with this was that it didn't know what genre it wanted to be. It did it. It did Are it. It you? was like it wanted to be the ghost hunter. Then it wanted to be the paranormal activity movie type, like ghost encounters. And then yeah. at the end, I don't know, with that softcore porn, like they even said, yeah. well, we can always just do a porn. I was like, yeah. really? Really? Yeah. No, really? It's, it's like at one point, it seems like it's a regular movie. And then at another point, they're going into this like documentary type deal. And then at another point, they're going into, oh, it's found footage. And then it goes back to regular camera, but then it goes um, <laughs> into like a found footage. Thing. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right it's now? It's bouncy. They try to do like an anth uh, anthology and they don't really let you know that yeah. they're doing an anthology. It, it legitimately comes down to like- Jack just, of all tree genres. <laughs> uh, pick a pick a genre and just stick to it, to your lane. Like don't, don't 
try to do anything else. Like, Find what you're good at before you put out shit like that. Oh, a foot in every door to, to net, net a fan base. Yeah, fan bases but it's, it's, it's just awful. awful. Yes, I know. It's just awful. But yeah, no. I wouldn't have oh. fucking watched it. Uh, we do not like this film. No. There you go. It's it's bad. It's a film that just should this not is have a been one. made. And it was on one of my favorite platforms, Tubi, which is where we get most of our videos for and usually for free. Yeah. It, here, here's a prime example. Remember 13? The, the yeah. YouTube movie? It was like an hour yeah. long. Yeah. That was made for next to nothing. And that is leaps and fucking bounds better than this movie. I would do more than this. That, I mean, I tell you, it, it like, doesn't I, make any sense. When I posted the video, one of the, the stars and directors of it commented. Reached out on it and like yeah. I, sp I spoke to them about it they had like no budget it was like a university like fucking mm -hmm. project for and then they submitted to a film festival they weren't expecting it to an go actual places, amateur but, indie film yeah and leaps and bounds better than this film and you had money you had like legit awesome locations and not like abandoned buildings and shit and it's yeah, just no you shit they had the like bed. a mansion so fucking hard and it's, it's you amber so your amber herded this shit it pulled uh, an amber no, and our God says, I just thought of this. Was this a way to launder money? Where'd the funds go? It, exactly. It, honestly, right. they did look like that would be with a case here. It did look like softcore porn was going to break out. Whether it was. Were 4, they in 000, Sacramento? Yeah. Whether it was $4,000 or $5,000 or the $20,000, it does not look like any of that money was spent no. on the film. So I don't know where it is. But fuck it. Let's just, let's just get into this god awful fucking plot. <laughs> masterpiece of shit them <laughs> like? this recti rectal anal bleed i went to like tweak audio volumes and my wrist just like spasmed and it shot the fucking audio all the way up into the air like i said in the spoiler free review for like the first 11 minutes of this film they're completely all over the place and it's a complete and total waste of time the and it starts off awkward in the first place with that one yeah. that a one-on-one -on -one shot yeah uh, the only good thing about the beginning is, like I said, Felissa Rose is part of it. But even she's not great. And everyone else that they showed is fucking awful. They are it's it's shockingly bad that like when you're editing it together that you're like, yeah, I'm going to keep this in. They had to have paid money. They had to have donated <laughs> money to this for like the Indiegogo. It had to have been a thing where it's like, well, you give X amount of money and you can have a fucking cameo. Like, that's what this is. It's that fucking bed. Yeah. Oh. Um, we didn't need any of this. So I think this is supposed to be a documentary crew, like about a documentary crew that's doing their like uh, final Multiple? Ouija board interview in a southern mansion in the bayou of Louisiana with the owner. They get more spooky stories from all these people and... I think they're like i think they talk about how they're terrorized by people it's all people talking about their fucking their bullshit experiences, experiences. with the ouija board it's like whatever but if we go by at those least, were the worst interviews yeah it, it, that's why i'm like it this had to be a fucking hey you go yeah an indiegogo pledge that like had to happen that's that's <laughs> the only thing i can think of for that but if we go by the first at least 10 minutes of this film you, you already know that this is going to be boring as shit it's, it's gonna just, be boring, yeah. And like I said, there I'll was explain, no way around that. I'll explain in a little bit how they could have easily fixed the opening and pretty much the entire film. Entire we film. finally get to a point now where you start to think maybe this is a found footage film. The crew is <laughs> talking to a table of young girls about Wait, that no. are about to use a Ouija board. They ask simple questions about who's gonna take so and so to a prom, bullshit like that. Then Billy has them ask the same it was questions. Stupid. But they're blindfolded and they can't spell shit, right? So, oh my god, for him this means that the Ouija board is total bullshit. Louisiana, the room. So like all of this is like playing into like they're making a documentary and it's about the Ouija board and he already has his hypothesis that it's it's all bullshit. So he's basically going and like doing all that stuff. We then cut to Stacy, played by the gorgeous Paris Christina Brown, being interviewed by the crew. She tells the story of her two friends, Meg and Samara, or Sama Samara, I think it's Samara. Samara. One, week, Samara. Yeah, one weekend playing with the Ouija board. Stacy and Meg arrive terrible. early and they want to start drinking before CR, uh, Samara gets there because- and, This reminded I, I, me of every Jersey Shore fucking party yeah. in the fucking world. Yep, yep. 
When you went down to the the Jersey Shore with your friends, these were the chicks that you fucking saw there. Yeah. Um, I I think they were implying that because I think they're supposed to be teenagers. They were not. Yeah, but they're not teenagers. Uh, But I think they were like, I think they were implying that Samara is kind of a drunk, so they want to get there and start drinking before her. But then it's just like, but they wanted her to cook. Again, this this is this is where I said I don't feel like they had a script because when they get in it's all over like, the place the playful banter was like the Sounds most pushed. awkward like ha, ha, yes ha, yeah girl like no slay. one knew that that line was coming up yeah yeah and then it's like oh my god have you never opened wine before oh my god i'll get it oh my god that's crazy oh my god girl love oh my it god. oh my god it's like that's oh my god. What the entire thing was then they start drinking the wine and they're like what's this taste it's the fucking wine that you're drinking what are you like, oh my god. Okay, so. Needless to uh, say, they were fucking annoying. Samara gets there, and it's it's funny because Samara gets there, and they're talking about, oh my god, I'm gonna make chicken parmesan, or some fucking bullshit like oh. that. So now she's there, but then it's still just Meg and Stacy sitting on the couch, drinking the wine. So yeah. then it's like, where the fuck did Samara go? And then that's where the, the scene that you were like, what the fuck is this bullshit? The Ouija board <laughs> from underneath the glass table comes out. Yeah. And out of nowhere. Go, th- then it's all like, oh, oh, we should play it. No, it's scary. Oh. No, we should come on, we should play it. And then they play it for like a second and they're like, oh, it's scary. And then go, okay, let's go to sleep. Yeah, because that's, that's how that fucking works. That's it. So they go In to the sleep. In the event with the then, lights flickering and this dumb bitch goes, yeah. that's never ever happened before. You never had a house that had lights flicker? What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, it's it's stupid. Now, to, to also preface this, this is because it'll it'll be a complaint that I have later. This is Meg's they, I think they keep calling it camp. Second. It's not a camp. It's, but didn't it's, this happen to her twice? I don't know. But like, they, no, like the house. It's clearly oh, like a okay. summer beach house, but for some reason they keep calling it a camp. Not a fucking camp it's just it's a beach a house. A fucking house or a lake house but it's not a camp so they decide to go to bed samara's brushing her teeth and they're like oh go to bed girl and they're like oh i will and then <laughs> i think it's i think it's meg it's like brush them teeth girl and then yeah, they walk that away was so fucking i'm like weird. What, what is this just write a fucking script just write a yeah, goddamn who script fucking says Don't that? stop this like free balling fucking bullshit when it comes to this because then you end up with fucking garbage like this because and none of it fucking has rel- relative to the whole entire fucking story of it either. It's so bad. And then like all the effects of Samara getting possessed. It's like possessed. why is she the only one to get possessed? Oh my god. Because it's like did yeah. it possess it, it possessed her because it was like she went to she went to go reach for the shower. So I guess she was gonna take a shower, which this will lead into another complaint that I have later. She goes to like she all no she, I don't baby. think she goes to I don't think she goes to take a shower. I think she's just reaching because she heard a sound. But it's like why did you you didn't hear a sound there? You heard a sound by the door, so you're reaching in the wrong way. Not That's why I was like maybe she's room. taking a shower. But like she goes to reach for the shower, and when she goes to reach, it's like her hand like stops, kind of like she's frozen in place. But she's, she's not. That was supposed to be her scared. So she opens the curtains, <laughs> nothing's there, and when she turns around, I, I didn't get something. that invade. Yeah, some bullshit like action essentials like FX pack smoke fucking thing <laughs> is sitting there. And then and now like, I know what you're talking face, about. Oh my god. And and there's like the fucking like again, action essentials, F, uh, VFX pack fucking uh veins on her face and the then her head. next thing you know, it's the morning and Stacy and Meg are calling out for her and they're like, "Hey, where is she? I haven't seen her. She's not in the house." They go walking she around outside and night. they find her dead in the lake. Why is she the only one dead in the lake? That doesn't make any sense. Why was she the only one possessed? Yeah. So. And if I'm not mistaken, wasn't she like the one that did it? Like she was the one on the far end of it. She wasn't really the one asking the questions, if I remember. Yeah. So all this happened. Gotta, they, the they kill the cook. The the entire time she's being interviewed, some like oh the lights are flickering or happening like inside the house. She's like oh my god y'all I never seen that. It's never it's seen like, that before. What the fuck are you talking about? You never seen that before. I don't know. So she offers to call Meg because yeah, she and was... like real fucking quick. Yeah, like you know what? You know what? Why don't I just see if she'll answer me now? Yeah. Uh, by the way, Which, she answered. Yeah. So she goes to call Meg because Meg, after this happened, Meg was in the uh, in a mental hospital. She was committed, so she was just released. She couldn't get a hold of her, 
And then they're like, no, it's fine. You don't need to call her. We'll, we'll whatever. And then as they're like packing up, it goes slow-mo and it reveals that she killed uh, herself. Stacy called them the next day and let them know that after Meg got out of the hospital, she killed herself or something. But it's like, why was she committed? Because they found her friend they dead. They don't tell you why. Like, that doesn't make yeah. any sense. Like, you, you're leaving so much shit on the table. It's fucking annoying. Anyway. You didn't get anything added up to it, too. You didn't get any backstory. You didn't get any kind of filler. What is this movie supposed to be? I guess it's supposed to be a parano like a paranormal activity kind of movie, which it, it, it isn't, but they're, they're doing, trying to make it. They're doing interviews about the Ouija board. This girl yeah. is telling a fucking story, and it's intercut with, <laughs> with, like, a reenactment of the incident, but it's not a reenactment of the incident. It's what actually happened during the incident <laughs> with the actors that are supposed to be the characters. <laughs> so, it's not, so it's not like it's not like a fucking unsolved mysteries where they hire random people to like reenact it. You see in the bottom it's, of the screen the uh, not actual uh, people. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. Like, it's actual like oh, it's like there was a fly on the wall and like all of this was like recorded while her and her friends did it because it's like she wouldn't no, be in her just, own reenactment. They reenacted it make, for us. Two you know? more dead. The dead shit came back. <laughs> <laughs> just, the dead shit came back. Reenacted it and said, "Yo, I got you, girl. Let me help you out real quick. We'll tell my story." And then yeah. she died again. Because it's like, is is this supposed to be found footage? Because they keep showing the crew. That Sometimes they talk to footage. camera stuff like this. Is it a regular movie? If it's supposed to be a regular movie, a you completely movie? fucked up the edit. Like it's it's all there. Also, there's no reason for these shitty fucking ghost effects. They look like trash. What are you doing? It cuts it now to better them just going into the imagination. Yeah. It now cuts to them going straight found footage on the way to the mansion, and we are now 26 minutes into an hour-long movie, and, like, nothing happened. Nothing. So. Nothing at all. It was fucking boring. So, this is how they could have fixed it had they had a script, because you can tell me they or have a idea. script. The director can reach out and email me the script. I will still call bullshit because this is the most incoherent <laughs> piece of fucking trash. I've I will ever love seen. it if he does. Oh, please get get back to him, please. I want to see this interaction. The film should have opened with Sarah and her friends at the mansion, not the beach house. The mansion should have been the location for the entire thing, right? Like the hub. Yeah. So Sarah and her friends are doing a girls like weekend. They rented out this mansion and stuff. They're not fucking oh playing God. teenagers. Have them be like in college it's like they all went to different colleges and they're all yeah. there now so it, it makes more sense right the mansion is haunted and while there they use a ouija board to contact spirits in the house they turn out to be evil spirits and the spirits mess with stacy meg and but then only end up killing samara before they get out but because they were fucked with like it lingered more on uh meg and that's why she ended Dang. up being possessed so that's all like real stuff that's like stuff that happened beforehand then you cut to and let you kind of know yeah then you cut to which you would need an extra camera to do this the documentary crew setting up interviews with felissa rose and the dude i think his name is oh, sean yeah. c phillips behind that the what dude that's saying? like um behind the 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 movie stands in front of like the the shelves filled with all the movies and the dvds and shit oh okay that guy okay he, yeah. he was the guy in the beginning who was like all the way up here in his fucking camera like yeah it's like what Post the fuck are you doing man it's like fucking zoom out a little bit, bro. Um, Postdoc. Yeah, but y you would need another camera filming them set that up. So it's like, it's it's just a movie. It's not a found footage. It's not anything like that. It's you're, you're seeing what's happening here. And then Duh. between <laughs> the the footage of Felissa Rose and Chauncey Phillips, you cut between those two interviews, right? So you get your money's worth. And yeah. in between those videos, um, those uh, interviews, you intercut it with the footage of them setting up the table to film that group of girls that are going to do the, the the Ouija board experiment scene, right? Mm -hmm. You have them... Okay, that makes sense. Because pretty much, Sean C. Phillips, like all the people in the beginning, like 11 minutes that like the Indiegogo fucking pledge people, everything they said was like, ooh, the Ouija board, it's so scary, blah, blah, blah. We were so scared, yeah. blah, blah, blah. All that shit. They weren't have really saying that, anything of consequence. Yeah, have all of that end with the first experiment 
working where it's like, oh my God, who's Nick? Who's Nick's taking oh. me to there? I don't know who that is. That ends that. And then it was you, Andy. Then you, and okay. Then it cuts to, not, not cuts, but like then it transitions like all that fucking interview bullshit, it's done, right? So now you're just in with yeah. this, this film crew that are doing this experiment and then you have them just like they did in that they redo the experiment but this time all the girls are blindfolded so they can't see where the the planchette's going it was so st- and that's so stupid. that's when you find out that like oh it's bullshit someone was leading it whether knowingly or unknowingly and they don't get the answer that they previously got even though they they asked the exact same question right which we then do. it cuts to while they're wrapping up from that experiment, they can talk about the upcoming interview that they finally got at the the Bayou Mansion, okay. right? Which would then take them to the spot Which that, lead into that Stacy and her friends were at, right? Yeah, that gives them a reason uh, to be there. That gives us a reason because it would then be they were excited to go there because say Stacy, well, probably more Meg since they she was found committed, out about it was saying like they messed with the Ouija board, the spirits killed Samara. All this that shit, would make right? sense. Yeah. Right? So then Bill and his team are going there to disprove like the it's it was All the Ouija that. board that did it. Right. And then you yeah. just cut to them arriving at the mansion. Tell me that's not a better opening. That actually would make the film make more sense. But now, I mean, that would make I mean, you could do a lot more in there to make it like better. But just to take what they have, that would make the movie flow better than with the way it kept going back and forth and that's not even added in the last story because you could actually leave that way that is and then you had those three stories perfectly in the storyline and understood where they're coming from now there is still a ton more shit to fix in this film but at least like we said it's coherent it makes sense you're not like jumping from random thing to random thing like I said in my spoiler review they they have a real big problem with not picking a genre and sticking to it and <laughs> that hurts this more than anything else because it's at this point whether we're going by like what well, my timeline is or what theirs is right they can either just after that interview stuff it immediately cuts them at the mansion or like they did and they're driving up where now as they drive to the mansion it cuts to a found footage pov of the director's camera with the okay. recording overlay over the video footage that says that it's being filmed in standard def 480p. <laughs> no, it's not. What? Why would no, you even not. put that? Like, there's there was no yeah. fucking reason for you to put that there. There's like, no why? Way. Why? It was that just like the only asset you could find for like a VHS Probably. overlay was that it said 480p. Like, it clearly wasn't 480p. Like, it, most likely you were either filming on a GoPro or your fucking cell phone, and it was it was <laughs> your fucking cell phone mouse. I mean, I could see the cell phone more than anything. Yeah. So Bill and Marcus are driving up to the house and it keeps cutting between the POV of the found footage cameras, a a camera on the truck, a camera in the road as they drive over it and drone shots. Ronnie, the camera guy is already there. As they pull the truck up, the the drone shot catches them and then it cuts to a static camera, uh, like right by the front door and the, the truck just pulls right up and they get out of the bill and Marcus get out of the truck and greet Ronnie. They all grab bags. Okay, pay attention to this. They all <laughs> grab bags and as they enter the house, suddenly Ronnie becomes POV. Why? Did you not notice that? They all grabbed bags yeah. and as they walk in, Bill and Marcus go in but then the other person to go in, you never see him because now he's holding the camera yeah. walking in because now he's POV. He's the POV camera. So it doesn't even fucking make why sense. Is it, why was why the camera they, there? Yeah. Why it, are there none, so many? Yeah. None of it made. This is something where it's just too much. And it's like where you when you look at through the. What are they getting stuff, graded for this? Like <laughs> when you when you look through the what is it called? Um, the credits like they have a script frame supervisor frame? Oh. and stuff like that. And I call bullshit what? because there's you no would have seen. Like, no, there's no script, script bringing supervisor. It in? So here comes my next fix, all right? This is another easy fix. They keep the interior car shot POV camera angle, maybe with a GoPro or two so that one can be outside the car catching like footage of them driving it. As they pull up to the house, Ronnie is already there. He's outside getting drone shots of the property, right? Right. 
mainly because if you're shooting a documentary like they're supposed to be shooting, someone would be getting drone shots of shit, especially of the property. The camera that was set up in the front that the truck pulls up to can still be there so that as they're pulling up and getting out of the truck, Ronnie could be bringing the uh, the drone down, okay. turning it off and packing it up, right? Oh, okay, so it's yeah. like, oh, could he's getting shot? shots. And it's like, hey, man, thanks for setting stuff up, blah, 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 shit like that. As Bill and Marcus grab their bags, he can then grab the camera that he had set up for the static shot, and you show him, like, grabbing the camera and turning it to walk in and with everybody else. And then you get, like, oh, now Ronnie is the cameraman. However, that still makes it a found footage, but if we're just making it a regular horror you film, found you, you need that other camera guy to be recording Ronnie pick up that camera Ronnie to then, like, up, yeah. do the the documentary shit because at that point it's no longer a documentary you're trying to do yeah. found footage they, they just yeah, keep now, bouncing yeah that's why it's like so long as you have an extra camera person recording the camera people doing their documentary and they seem like they had plenty it, it's i don't know <laughs> um that's why uh, i think it was on a cell phone they just yeah, use the, everyone's the, cell phone <laughs> camera i actually figured out what the cameras were i, ha I had to on like the third watch i, I figured it out after the crew meets with Girl the friend? owner kim we get an interview with her, and here we get the history of the property. During the interview, Bill notices, I can already see you shaking your head. Uh, during the interview, Bill notices a ghost behind the owner and tells her to turn around. And when she does, it's that gone. That was so fucking terrible. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. <laughs> turn around. What? Yeah, the, 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 I wasn't even talking about the pause. So I mean the, the effects. Fuck? The well, effects, the, effects the, the, the actors, who was all the of ghost? it. I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is the ghost? Who is she? It's just at a least, random person. It's a random woman. If Samara died there, that could be her ghost. Instead, that should be this her is ghost, just a yeah. random fucking ghost walking around the house. What the fuck is this? They it's did not like, not you know, what do we got? All. Poltergeist? You're on an Indian burial ground? Like, you got fucking like, people underneath oh, the mean, house? It's Louisiana, so I mean, it could have been anything. Oh. So then, after that, which. Keep in mind, the camera does not get because the camera isn't looking there. Bill and Kim explore the hallway and they see the ghost girl again. And she's Kim's are like, is that her? Is that her? Oh, and no, then what Bill are the gets, ghosts you know of? I would assume. Yeah. And then the, again, camera never sees it. The doorbell rings. He gets oh, scared. And then Brit shows up. She's kind of hot. And this is where you said it starts to feel like it's turning into a porno. It does, <laughs> and then they got the two really, meatheads. Really well, you got yeah. you got the one meathead, the guy that looks like an, uh, an old fuck, like fucking J Ron Jeremy, and then the crackhead looking guy, the methy looking guy. Well, the 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 balding guy that is Bill. That's the writer director fucking person of this. Oh, yeah, I kind of got that. He looks like he would write this. Yeah, <laughs> especially with the scene coming up, it's like, oh, God. yeah, you wrote this because this is the only way something like this would ever happen. <laughs> Like, yep. That's the only way. And you can tell um, right in this scene. Yeah. So here I'm able to tell that the camera. No, I at this point, I can't tell what camera Ronnie's using. I catch a glimpse of it, but I don't see the actual camera body. But I am able to see from Ronnie's camera that Marcus or or Mark or Matt, whatever the fuck his name is, um, he's using a DJ <laughs> Osmo or the Osmo Plus. It's basically... It's a gimbal camera that has like a lens mount on top of it. And then you basically okay. connect it to your cell phone. So it's it's kind of oh. like an action cam, but you can put like a really good lens on it for stuff. It, it, it's cool. They discontinued it like it's not there anymore, which that seems to be the running theme of this because that camera is uh, is discontinued. And then I found out later <laughs> the camera that Ronnie is using, because basically what happens now is Marcus follows Brit to her room and she's like oh yeah. am I in the documentary now oh yeah again Fucking porno vibes especially like worse, when they get into a worse. room and she does like the whole look over her shoulder and everything it's like it's so fucking terrible do I have to take my pants off? Like, what is happening right now? Like, I don't know. I'm very confused with what's happening. Kim tells them where they're going to sleep and holy fucking shit. Everything. Everything in this scene is out of focus. It's, it's fucking terrible. What the fuck is going on? I didn't have you, but why didn't anybody notice that? Do they, there's people in this fucking credits 
Wasn't there someone that's going over it, editing it, looking at it? I I do not believe that they had a focus puller on set. I'm pretty sure the camera op, Ronnie, because it's at this point where she's, where Kim's telling the guys where they're sleeping that, I guess we're just going to keep calling him Marcus because I can't even remember what the fuck his name is. The, the meathead. I think it is Marcus. Um, the meathead with his American flag under armor fucking shirt. Fucking get him done shit. The grunt style. Um, grunt style. Yeah. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Um, he comes back in with the Osmo, and that's where we get a shot of Ronnie. And he's using the Blackmagic Cinema camera, the original one that's shaped like a wedge or a doorstop. Oh. That's the same camera that was used in um the found footage movie that you didn't like where all the the daughter did was scream like the entire time and the cop never took her to a hospital like she was eating a raccoon and then he just like brought her back to the house it, it, it was the one with the pool party where the teenage one? girls uh i think so the pool party where the girls took their tits out even though the like the teenage girls were running around with their titties out even though the party was filled with haunted or something the yeah. Haunting or yeah. Oh yeah. No. Fuck that. No. That. Yeah. That was a terrible camera. one. It's they're using the same camera. Oh well. The so, camera wasn't the issue. <laughs> no. So it was behind was, the camera. Yeah. So what I was able to see with what they were doing, I did not see another monitor that they would use for oh, okay. better focus pulling and stuff. I didn't even see a focus wheel on it. Okay. So. I'm, I'm sure they were just like living on an edge and shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I don't know. Oh, and people were just going. This is... They definitely went full throttle on this. Yeah, this this is kind of where I, I started to lose interest. I think at some point they the guys hang out in the living room and they're like, oh, yeah, the girls and stuff. Yeah. And, and he's like, like, oh, well, you know, let's, oh, let's well, let's you know we can always do like a porn. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? So Ronnie wants to leave because he saw a ghost. But he didn't see a ghost. Bill saw a ghost. But Bill didn't believe in ghosts. But then he saw a ghost. Saw a ghost. He's super and now he believes about the ghost. Yeah. So so I'm assuming he's just a really bad actor. <laughs> they are. They're down. terrible actors. It's fucking awful. And they're supposed to be and they're supposed to be professionals, because the guy even said it flat out. He was like, listen, we go on these things and we do these things all the time, and nothing ever happens. The yeah. one time I see something and you guys want to leave. Yeah, and it's like yeah. And, that's and that, that, that's what you're there for. That that's that's like another really big complaint that I have. It's like it it doesn't like, make sense. Isn't that what your purpose wise. was? Yeah, yeah. Your whole purpose for being there. But again, I don't believe any of these people had a script. They aren't very good at acting, <laughs> and it's just it's really really bad. They decide to. A lot stay, of friends uh, doing favors. Yeah, they decide to stay, but go get some food. Meanwhile, the ladies are drinking wine somewhere in the house. I have no fucking clue where exactly they are in the house. It looked like a bar. The They're chit-chatting, and then the guys come in, like a scene straight out of a fucking God. porno. It's like they yeah, took the camera. It. They took the camera, and they put it on, like, behind the bar. Team on, like, the, uh, yeah, on, like, a shelf just to, like, get that very static. Like, you they <laughs> have settings in video editors where you can add, like, a little handheld motion so it doesn't look so clinically locked off, but it's whatever. You don't like that static, that, that, that just that box... Screen and it went on, on for so long. That's the other thing. It went on for so fucking long. Jesus Christ. Fucking. Okay. Getting punchy. I'm trying to calm down. Uh, they chit chat <laughs> for a bit. And everyone just wants to, to get in on getting the food. And then they set up cameras. And then, I don't know, bullshit happens. Uh, again, this could have just been the guys are coming in to set up cameras. And then they start chit chatting yeah. with the ladies. This way. Like if, it looks like they did something. Yeah, this way, like, if the if they're going in there to set the cameras up and then they leave and you can have some paranormal happening and then we'll be all like, ooh, ah, or something. But instead, yeah. it was just these guys going in there to get their dicks wet. That's all that it felt or like. Or attempt to. They were, they were, they were yeah. walking in trying to fuck those women. That's all that it was. And it's like, if you're supposed to be professional on this thing, like, you're not fucking the people that are there. Oh. Okay. So it, it's just, that was already fucking annoying. But this is where we get to the- The acting didn't get you there first. This, this is, we're at another point where this totally feels like the director oh, wrote this well. for himself. <laughs> to get laid. To to just get laid. So yes. that night- A lot of it seems like it's just to get him in a room with a really hot chick. Yeah. 
So that night, Bill's watching Real high his school face, vibes. <laughs> getting ready for bed when there's a knock at his door. He goes to the door and opens it. Britt's standing there with, I believe, a bottle yeah. of wine and two glasses, and she is full on ready to fuck. She's all raunchy. She is not going to fuck him. There is no way in real life that that woman fucks him. Like, no, this is something you have to write. <laughs> this is why nobody wanted to fuck Ron Jeremy, right? You fucked him because you were hired to fuck him. Like, that's what it was. No, no woman. You know that what? man was scary yes. looking. Yes, he was. He was a dirtbag looking motherfucker. Um, like a fucking goblin. But uh, yeah, she goes in and she seduces Bill. I don't know, man. Changes, Bill looks right. It's what what becomes weird is like they're doing the scene and it's kind of like he he wrote this scene for himself and then he had no idea what to do. It's like she's None touching him. What to do. He's touching her, but like he's kind of like, oh, Awkwardly. what do I do? Oh, what do I do? And then he starts choking her and his eyes glow and then turns out it's a dream. I don't know. <laughs> Cut to Brit in her bedroom scrolling through photos when the tub turns on. She gets up and turns it off, walks back to bed. It turns back on. That's weird. Oh, that the, the back sure, and it's forth. just an old house. So she turns around. My old house don't in. just turn on. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's understand uh, that. <laughs> she turns the water back off and walks back to bed. And as she's leaving the bathroom, the bathroom door slams shut, freaking her out. She runs into bed and throws the covers over her. She seems really, really scared until five seconds later when she's like, okay, bedtime. And she rolls over <laughs> to see a ghost in her bed. Well, yeah, that's how that works. Cut to the next morning. She's just sitting in the living room. I, uh, no, no explanation. Did, no, oh, did she get possessed? Did she get killed? Nothing, the, nothing. The, Don't say leave it to the imagination. Don't tell me that's what you're no, trying to do. No. That's a she, lack of imagination right there. She just saw a ghost. It's a COVID movie. This came yeah. out and was shot during COVID, where people yeah. had no fucking idea what to do, and they were pumping these fucking movies out because they were bored. So, okay. So, she saw a ghost. She screamed at the top of her lungs. Nobody came down to check on her. All those guys that are trying to fuck her, because she is very attractive, none of them went down to check on her? None. And you can tell maybe that this is the even Reaper. You can, maybe you they can, were like giving each other reach around. It, maybe. Because you can tell that no one went down to check on her. Because the next morning she's she sitting in the living room. And she's just like holding like a cup of coffee. And then I think it's Bill that comes in. He's like, hey, how'd you sleep? <laughs> Fucking it's Bill. Like, it's like, what is going on? What is, what is this movie? Right? Because they were supposed to walk around the house to do like... Like, the whole thing they is, like, it's haunted. That. There's Ouija board shit. You didn't do anything with the Ouija board. You didn't show any footage of them walking around the nope. house exploring or the anything. Movie is a you showed... the, the Ouija board confessions, right? Yeah, or the Ouija board session. Uh, the spirit board sessions. So none of this. Didn't see it. No. So now uh, Britt is too freaked out to stay, but she doesn't want to leave without letting Kim know that she's going. Okay. Right. Who cares? You saw a ghost. <laughs> you well, can let her friend know. You know, don't leave Fuck her friend. Fuck your friend. Fuck your friend. She had you come over to her haunted ass house. Why is the ghost so, like the other one? It, the, the girls weren't attacked until they used the Ouija board, but it doesn't explain why. This one doesn't need a Ouija happened. board, apparently. Because the girls that were doing the experiment used the Ouija board and nothing came and attacked and killed them. Yeah. So it's, it's like none of this makes sense. But anyway, nobody's seen Kim since last night. Bill and, and Ronnie don't daughter. care. Bill and Ronnie don't care that she's missing and they just want to leave. So they're going to pack the truck while uh, Marcus and Britt go to check upstairs. They can't find her anywhere. I think the pool table like shoots itself, like shoots by itself or something like that. I think I hear like a pool table, like a pool balls or something. Oh, OK. Billiard like balls, the cues hit and everything. Yeah. A door that was locked is now unlocked. So they head up there into the oh. attic, but they don't find anything. Britt feels like she was touched or something. And then the temperature drops. Oh, Even though, an angel. What, what yeah, the fuck is this uh, ghost? Yeah, I don't know, man. They head back downstairs to hear the piano play some tunes. Britt goes to get her phone. When they hear a crash in the kitchen, they find knives all over the counter, and Marcus picks one up for protection. Or Mark. I think his name is Mark. I don't fucking remember, man. God, you it's keep pissing me off. Back and forth. Because I have somewhere written sometimes Mark, sometimes Marcus. Beefcake. What the fuck would wrong Beef, with you? Beefcake, because I stopped caring, man. <laughs> 
Beefcake it's picks up one movie. of the knives for protection, but I'm thinking to myself, why, it's it's a ghost. If you saw a ghost and you're so trying to protect from a ghost, a ghost, what the fuck is a knife going to be? And then Brit. What are you going to stab Slimer? Like... Thankfully, Britt asks the exact same question I was just thinking when she looks at him and goes, <laughs> what are you going to stab a ghost? Stab and he looks at him, he's like, all right. And he puts the knife down. <laughs> they meet back up with Bill and Ronnie. Terrible. And for people who are shooting a documentary, like you said, about spooky shit, when spooky shit happens, they could care. They sure don't know they how to. Yeah. They couldn't care any less. And they're they just couldn't. like, nah, we're out. We're leaving. Yeah. You're not, you're uh, not, you're not going to fucking get your footage. Yeah. Beefcake is going to stay with Britt and give her a ride. I <laughs> bet he is. <laughs> So Bill and Ronnie leave. Britt calls Kim and they end up finding her phone in the dining room. I think it's the dining room. I don't I don't know the fucking layout of this place. It's so fucking weird. Kim is it's creepily a big standing. Now. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a mansion, technically. Uh, Kim it's is, cre is creepily mansion, yeah. standing by the bar, holding a breakaway vase. And when they see her, they ask, like, what's going on? She attacks Britt. Mark throws her off Britt. Of and then Kim grabs a breakaway glass bottle, breaks it over Mark's head while he's trying to tend to Brit. I don't know why she broke a vase, attacked Brit, you threw her off of her, off of her. and then her. for like 20 minutes, you're just looking at Brit like, are you okay? Are you okay? You grab her yeah. and you leave. But all of this yeah. was just to get like the bottle, the, the bottle hit, which then he fucking backhands her to the ground and they run <laughs> out of the house. <laughs> Kim wakes up on the floor, not knowing what happened. Fade to black, but we're not done yet. That ghost girl that's just walking around in the fucking, that mansion pops up with some ghostly whispers or some bullshit. And then it cuts the credits. And that is the end. And there's your the steaming pile of dog shit. Steaming pile. Do not waste your time. Fucking hate this movie. Fun facts. Honestly. Oh, go. Oh, there's fun facts. Oh, shit. Yeah. The, the, the fucking bad candy didn't have any fun facts. This one. Oh, boy. Bad, bad candy was good. Yeah. Which is a shame. All the good ones don't have, have fun facts. facts. Well, the, like when Bad Candy came out, I don't even remember because that was a 2022 movie as well. I don't remember anyone talking about it. I don't remember interviews no. with like horror magazines or anything. I just saw it on on like Tubi and I was like, oh, I'll give it a watch. Never fucking heard of it. And it's like, that's a shame. That's why I was advocating last week that like good. all these hopefully like indie get, horror hopefully films. Hopefully you get good publicity. Especially indie horror films. Yeah. Do BTS have tons of bts it cannot cost you that much to have someone walking around with a fucking camera all right cameras are <laughs> dirt fucking cheap now you can use just about anything you can have someone the new iphone 15 like pro max whatever yeah use your fucking, fucking phone it shoots fucking like like uh uh pro res or something like that it shoots like an advanced codex where you can hook it up to a fucking uh uh what, what what's the bullshit called um hdmis an ssd you, you can hook oh. the new iPhone up to the same hard drive that I'm using to record my footage on the Blackmagic camera. You can hook that up to get even more like like uh, color depth and stuff. And you, you can shoot. You can literally shoot with fucking anything and put it on YouTube. <laughs> it's fucking advertisement for your goddamn fucking films. So good <laughs> films like that get nothing. And then this bullshit is just littered with fucking fun facts. Limit, yeah. It's awful. Everywhere. Oh. Okay, fun facts. Just fun. about everyone in this cast was also on the fucking crew. Ronald Pete was not only one of the oh, yeah. stars, but also the cinematographer and the film's editor. He also did the oh, music I totally for the film. Oh, I thought that. Mark Mayhew was one of the stars. He's also a co-producer and first assistant camera on the film. Tracy Fernandez not only played the ghost girl, but was also a production assistant. Hallie Frey was an assistant director, co-producer, and played Meg, the friend that killed herself after leaving the psych ward. Bailey Henrichel, I'm assuming that's Bill's daughter or some sort of family member, was a casting assistant and actress in the film. I believe she was one of the girls in the group doing the, the experiment. Paris Christina Brown played Stacy. She was also a casting assistant. Petra Chokovaneth? Sure. Uh, <laughs> she was a technical advisor and the executive producer. During her interview scene, when they do flashbacks or reenactments, Paris Christina Brown mentions wanting to watch uh, Psychotica, which was also directed by Bill and she starred in that. And that's it. There, there was so much more and I was just like, I don't give a shit. It's like all these people played like 16 other fucking parts in this fucking shit. Like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> what are your spoiler oh, man. filled? Don't, don't ever fucking, don't ever fucking watch this movie. It was hard to get through the, the first time and stay awake because I started to fall asleep. So watching <laughs> it was hard. And then when you see all the shit that you could have done right in it, 
you're like, why didn't you just fucking do the easiest thing? You did the hardest thing the wrong way for no fucking reason. And it just, it was frustrating. And then I have you in fucking Discord. Oh my God, I can't wait for you to watch it. You're gonna be so, you're gonna have so much fun. I was like, oh my God, just shut up. I know it's gonna be bad. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah. I, I don't ever want to watch it again. I watched no. it again this morning and he's like, you gotta watch it one more time. I'm like, no, I can't bring myself to do this. This is a terrible fucking movie. It's like, I can't even fuck around and be like, it's not that bad. No, it's it's awful. No, this is- That's a blatant lie. <laughs> This this is a pile. Pile of so, dog so you, shit. Like you've already said, this is a one. Yeah, right? hard one, not budging. Same for me. It's a one. I added another paragraph to my complaints. Oh, God. oh let's so. hear them. Okay. <clears throat> this Let could have been. This could have been a good, fun film, but Bill, the okay. director, could not decide on a genre to focus on this should have either been you know uh this the, honestly this probably no it, it could have worked as a found footage where the <laughs> if intro, they stayed with found footage if, if it was the intro like i explained where stacy and her friends go to that mansion that could be like an inciting incident it's it plays and then it cuts to the title card of the spirit board sessions and then it goes into found footage where it's just bill and his team and they do all that stuff it could have done that and that would have been completely fine or it could have just been a regular film but then you would need another camera person to record all the other camera people so then it becomes a whole fucking thing okay they should have taken at least another two passes on the script if it there even was a script just to tighten it up because it was really a hard awful. dead set on that one like i said the opening was bloated with shit that did not fucking matter by the 15 minute mark they should have already been in inside or at least on their way to the mansion and they weren't if they're shooting okay. a documentary uh, about spooky shit and the premise is that it's all bullshit, then when the spooky shit starts to happen, why would the crew want to leave? They would be there. They wouldn't leave. This yeah. is pay dirt for them. It they wouldn't believe everything. it either. But yeah, they don't care. They just they just want to leave. The, yeah. the entire thing the entire thing was just shitty, lazy writing. The only good actor in this entire thing just was that Erica Monet Butters, and she wasn't even given proper material to really shine in it God, like she could have been the heroine where everyone else dies and and she survives instead all of them live even Kim is that the lives. one that was in the 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 yoga fucking outfit yeah the one with the, the hips yeah oh yeah okay yeah like but kim survives the ghost possesses her and then she just wakes up and she's like oh what happened and then she just well, goes about the rest of the fucking day yeah <laughs> non-traumatized um, bill ronnie beefcake and uh and uh, uh uh what the fuck is her name brit they all survive stacy survived so the only people in this entire thing that died was samara and meg and they died off screen so nothing fucking happened in this movie you know horror is always being shit on oh it's nothing but tits oh. ass and blood and me and you are Not big lately. proponents me and you are big proponents of horror doesn't need to have nudity in it to be good yeah right no i i'm not at all also that if nudity is in it it should serve it has a to purpose. make sense yes however this film fucking needed nudity I... <coughs> you it had two it. people that definitely look like they were from the nudie mag fucking genre yeah you know what i mean like, they, they they fit the part i thought that's where it was going and yeah. once when, once those two dick dick bags came in with that old dude I was like, yeah. is this going to go south? Like, you would have yeah. said to me if it did. Now, I say that it needed nudity mainly because nothing else happened. Nothing scary happened. It, happens. Sucked. it would have scary. lightened the mood. Nothing scary, nothing spooky, no blood, no gore, no tension. No consequence. But almost every single woman in this film was attractive. Yep. And none of them get naked. You, you, you gave us absolutely nothing in this fucking film. This is a waste of fucking time. This film had to have cost you like $15 just to get something fucking <laughs> out there, okay? The cameras you use are so fucking out of production that I doubt there's even firmware you can find on the internet to get them working fucking properly, okay? And cameras do not cost a ton of money. They had, because where we say, you know, if, if there's going to be nudity, like it needs to, it needs to make sense in the world. Makes sense. You've had scenarios where it would have fit 
in that they were naked. Bill's dream. Britt comes in to seduce him. Yes. She could have gotten naked. Stacy and her friends. I don't know what their ages are. I know they're playing teenagers, but I'm they're assuming old. I'm assuming at least Stacy is over 18 because she has fucking tattoos. Okay. Uh, that doesn't really matter. They looked older. I'm, I'm, yeah, but I'm just saying, if I'm going based off of this, Plenty this of people had a fucking under tattoo. 18. She could have taken a shower when getting ready for bed. And then the ghost like messes with her until it gets to Samara. That makes sense. Samara could have actually been in the shower when stuff happened and we could have seen something or whatever. I mean, slipped and Christ. fell and that's how she died because the ghost scared her. Yeah, I mean, fucking Christ, the scenes at the beach house. Fucking Stacy was, con was constantly pulling her fucking tube top up the entire like, scene. The entire time she's wearing that outfit, every two seconds, she's pulling it back up. Why are you even wearing that? That would be like someone being in a film and while they're having a conversation with someone, they're just constantly pulling up their sagging pants. Well, like pants. wear shit that fits right. Why is she wearing that outfit? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I was like, oh, maybe she's that gonna- came out of one of their, That came out of one of the fucking, the crew members fucking closet. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. They said, you like, kind of look like my size here. Throw this on real yeah. quick. Cause like, I highly doubt they had a wardrobe. It's like, e even if there was nudity, I still would give it a one because it's, this this movie's it's just fucking, fucking awful movie. But at least, th like they obviously didn't have the budget for blood. They didn't have the budget for gore. They, um, I don't think that's it. Didn't have the budget to properly build suspense because it's so short. What they did have the budget for are titties. Like nobody <laughs> wants to see that old Danny DeVito looking motherfucker naked. Like it's it's just not gonna happen. No. Nobody wants to see Beefcake naked, and nobody wants to see <laughs> fucking Ronnie naked. All right, it's just no to all of them. I would have taken any one of the women in that movie naked, and I would have been like, eh, watch it on Tubi. Okay. You know? <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, no, you you literally gave us absolutely nothing. This was nothing. a 100% a, a complete, like, like horror blue balls. It had fucking nothing. There's it no reason nothing. for this film to be out. There was nothing that made it fun. It wasn't Did, even like an entertaining. Like, they have it on Tubi, so they're making money from us watching it through ads. This should I, be on I, YouTube. That's bad. That's bad. This should be on YouTube for free, where you just use an ad blocker. <laughs> like, yeah, just true. just get views on it. Don't fucking do. And that's the other thing. Like, if there's not going to be nudity, there's no reason for this trash heap to not be on you on YouTube. Like, just put it on <laughs> yeah. YouTube. What, yeah, like, that makes sense because you, you could just up upload it with no problems. The only thing that I found even remotely redeeming about this entire movie was oh what, they can't the be. the song salvation the october remix by christopher anton it's the song that okay. plays when the girls pull up to the beach house it sounds it, i think it played a couple of times but it sounds like the song came straight from the uh the movie that Aaliyah and Stuart townsend starred in queen of the damned really it's yeah it's oh sounded yes like i know it what it's, it's, it sounds like marilyn manson right yeah yeah. It sounded it sounded just like it's that from that one. movie. And yeah, that's good like movie. the only really good thing about it. I mean, if if you like just looking at pretty girls, there's a lot of them, but like everything else is just dog shit. Cinematography, the color grade, the audio, the fuck, just everything. The 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 breakaway glass, like the vase, it's like <laughs> it's just this is a Yes, one. it was an Ari God. Hard one. Do not yeah. watch. It would waste your time. I waste my time. Fucking... So next week's film is going to be George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead. It is a movie that we actually do like. Got it? Are you going to play it? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the thing. That's... Trailer, there it is. I have to like set it all up. Diary of is the dead. Oh, okay. Diarrhea. Diarrhea, cha cha cha. Um, <laughs> where is it? Boom. Okay. So yeah, this is next week's film. This is George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead.
So yeah, that is <clears throat> next next week's film. That's a lot better. It looks like dog shit because it's like fuck a 480. <laughs> it's like that's yeah, like great. I mean, yeah, I, it did look pretty bad. <sighs> but yeah, it's like it's. I want to stream more, like play some games now that we're done. But it's like this this movie legitimately just made me just not want to. <laughs> like it's just so bad. It like it 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 ruined I my find day. Something good to watch to cleanse myself of this aw- awfulness. You still need to watch Skinamarink. Oh yeah, Skinamarink. Because I hate the film. I hate it with a fucking passion. Okay. Jack. Why are you asking me to watch it? Hates the film because there are people that are like this film is the greatest like horror film of the last decade, and. Really? I all right, so then I'm, I'll watch it after we're done. Well, while yeah, I'm playing, so, so, I'll watch it after we're done. Yeah, because it's and it's like maybe I'll, my like, perspective on it might be what they're talking about. But that is it for the spooky, spooky horror show this week. We will be back next week with Diary of the Dead. Thank you, yeah. everybody, very much for stopping by. Thank you for we'll coming see in you next week. Bye bye.